I mean, if you look at the movie, it is a work that subtly is an indictment. Overtly is an indictment against the black man. And we can prove that all the way through to the end of the movie. Wasn't a black man in the movie that came off well. The color purple. If your black man don't come off well at all, sisters, then where are you going? Now, you may be dumb enough to think you can do without a man. I don't know who ever sold that idea. Naturally, sometimes it's better to be alone than with somebody who is no good at all. But that doesn't satisfy the void that not having a man actually brings because God intended you for the man and the man for you. The Quran says of the man that men are the maintainers of women. You know, maintenance is a heck of a thing. You got a building here, and it may look nice when you get it, but if you don't maintain it, it'll fall apart on you. The finest building in the world needs maintenance. If men are the maintainers of women, that doesn't just mean that you provide for them, you work hard and help them in, in certain ways. Men have the responsibility of upkeeping the spirit of a woman Absolutely. and upkeeping the nature in which she's created. She's born of the righteous by nature and it is your responsibility to make sure that she stays in the mold that God intended. That's your duty. But if you as a man are crushed and exed out, who will maintain your woman? And since the nature of the Caucasian man is not to really maintain your woman, but to degrade your woman, then when the black man is destroyed, the black woman is a degraded woman, the color purple. You were a degraded woman in the movie. A degraded woman, a woman without a sense of value, of her own worth as a human being. And she meets another woman who only recognizes that she can sing and she's fine and she gives herself away to any man that would have her. And the mockery of this beautiful, so-called beautiful woman over this so-called ugly woman because this beautiful woman took her man. And the man was so hateful, he brought this beautiful woman right in the home of his wife and flaunted the fact that his wife was nothing to him but a useful tool. And the beautiful woman mocked the ugly woman until she found out that the ugly woman was beautiful indeed. And then they had a relationship. So the bestiality of the black man leads to homosexuality. Bestiality leads to homosexuality. Oh, it wasn't really a deep thing. But the beautiful woman physically found real beauty in the ugly woman spiritually. And she who is looking for the beauty of God, she found it in this ugly woman. And she liked that woman because that woman nursed her. That woman helped her. The scene in the tub, when the woman is sick and dying, and the so-called ugly woman 
is nursing her back to health. And the ugly woman, so-called, is talking about a relationship with her father. And this so-called pretty woman in the tub is thinking about a relationship that she has with her father. Even her father and the relationship that he has with this song stylist is very unhealthy. Because even when that man becomes a preacher for God, he is so insensitive to human need. He's so imbalanced in his representation of God. He's so callous and hard in the name of God and his righteousness that he doesn't understand what he's doing to a daughter who needs his love and his affection. Right. Yes, she has made mistakes. Yes, she has fallen into bed with men. But as Jesus was compassionate, his understanding of Jesus was so limited, he could not give his daughter what his daughter needed. So here again, the man was a beast but now he's a beast with a collar on. Even God in his understanding of religion can't help him out of the condition that he's in. Even his understanding or his misunderstanding of religion does not allow him to feed the yearning in his daughter's breast for a meaningful relationship with her own father. He is more concerned about how she makes him look in the eyes of the congregation than how she looks right. in the eyes of God. The color purple. She's crying because she wants a decent relationship with her father and she can't have it. And the other woman, Whoopi, is crying because mm -hmm. she had an indecent relationship with her father and she couldn't care less to be near him. So the two meet and a man that neither one of them really think too much of is using the woman of beauty and therefore misusing her mm -hmm. and using the woman of ugliness and therefore misusing her. So the righteous man in the church becomes a religious dog while the playboy man, he's a manifest dog. <laughs> and his father, the old man, comes in and he's another old dog <laughs> that is trying to teach his son, a young dog, a new trick or two. <laughs> the color purple. The color purple. But meanwhile, a domineering father produces a son that is a wimp. Mm -hmm. Another man, now he's totally out of the box. <laughs> and he's so out of the box, he marries a mother figure in Oprah. And Oprah is so strong and magnificent in her strength till she just overpowers mm -hmm. the man that she married. So the, the image that we get here is the strong woman coming through all the time. The woman that is abused, the woman that is misused, the woman that is the strength and the cornerstone of everything. Everybody dumps on the woman and finally we get a strong woman and she gets a man that is so weak. <laughs> that she ends up fighting white people while he stands on the sideline trembling. She said, take my children home. He becomes mama. While she stands and battles the police, she tells him, take my babies home. So the women in the audience, they identify with that strong, whoop that man. Whoop it up. Whoop it up. Sorry, nigga, take the children home. <laughs> and you sitting in your chair, angry as hell that that man ain't a man. And then you say, just like my husband. <laughs> no good, 
so-and-so wouldn't stand up for me either. <laughs> Poor black man sitting in there, he going further and further down his chair. Man. Lord, when am I going to be rescued in this picture? When they finally let Oprah out of jail, she's ugly, beat up, broke. Then she end up driving for the white woman. Only time the men in the movie show any kind of spot is when the white woman get in trouble with her car. Then they all can help her. Yeah. Only time they show any manhood. Yeah. Is in trying to save this white woman because they don't want her to crash. Because if she crashed, they will swear that the niggas killed her. They was running for the old <laughs> The color purple. I know I'm skipping over a lot of pertinent points. But the subliminal message to the woman is, I don't care how strong you are. Don't you ever think that you can rise up against the white man? Because I broke Winfrey. Whatever her name was in the movie. I broke her and I'll break you too. That's the subtle message. Your man ain't nothing, he ain't gonna defend you. And if you rise up against me, I'll break you too. So if you don't rise, I won't fall. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Call the curtain. Yeah.